Hey Internet, it's me, and him, and him. So, Happy Halloween! Um, we decided to watch, and by we I mean I decided to watch Mousetrap. Which is, for those of you that don't know, when Steamboat Willie entered the public domain, the trailer for this movie came out the following day, and it's a horror movie based on Mickey Mouse. And the trailer looked really good. And right off the bat, I know you can't say too many bad things, because you worked with the writer, director, villain, actor. You just right. released, like, a few weeks ago in September, the, his latest movie that you filmed and edited. Yes. But Tyler and I can shit on this. And I gotta say, <laughs> we're gonna, it wasn't very good. Um, Tyler, I will let you go, because I know you're going to be critical. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's my thing. If they did something in the beginning that was cool to draw me in and then go like mm -hmm. an hour earlier, that would have like given me something to hope for and yeah. keep you know keep me on the edge. But they never did that. It was just like a lot of talking that was boring, mm -hmm. and that doesn't draw me in. The framing device was weird with the whole the girl in the jail cell flashing back, and we we mentioned a couple times while watching too is that like. She kept hearing conversations she couldn't possibly have heard, and like witnessing things that other people were alone for, and then those people died, so it's not like they could relate to her. So how is she aware of that stuff? Like, they shot themselves in the foot by putting that framing device in the movie. Like, writing-wise, it was a terrible choice. I don't know why they would do that. Like, this could have just happened in real time. We could have watched it unfold as it was going and not cutting to the jail cell. Like, you gain nothing from that. Like, there was no... There was no payoff, there was no story device, like you said. They didn't set anything up that paid off by her being in that jail cell. So I don't know why they went that route. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, you probably did, because that's your job, but like... Yeah. There were some continuity things that drove me crazy. Multiple times, it happened with the girl in the... in the, like, arcade at the beginning, and then later with the lead lady there, Alex. Where the little girl, you know, she's saying something to Alex, and Alex says something to her, and she starts to, like, back away and shake her head. And then it cuts to a close-up on that girl, and she delivers a line, but she's not backed up or shaking her head. So, like, it's not... Like, all the movies we've been on, whenever we deliver a line or do a scene, and then you change your camera to a different angle or a different zoom or whatever... You have to deliver it the same way. You have to do the same motions, you have to do the same words. It has to be continuous so that you can cut back and forth without breaking it. Yeah. And they did not do that at all. It, it was very noticeable and took me out of it multiple times that it happened. I do know that on the editing floor, sometimes things happen that you can't plan for. They had to throw away a lot of shots that were uh, better for continuity. But had some issue, whether there was like a piece of equipment in the background or uh, like something that would break continuity further. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to just, you know, pick the lesser of two evils and, you know, just go with whatever shot is like the best or gets the point across, even if it isn't, uh, doesn't match quite well. Mm -hmm. so. I, I get what you're saying, Tim, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hate this movie. I know. I'm bad for it. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's other reasons, though, because, like, I don't know if it was the acting or the writing or both, but this movie did something that I know I've mentioned a million times that I hate, and it's why I wrote the short that I'm eventually going to produce when I have money and time. Um, no one here says things that people would say. Like, no one is talking like a human would talk or reacting to things in any way realistically. Like, when the boy that's crushing on her, he just... She basically tells him, hey, ask me out. And he still reacts weirdly and says for like 10, He stalls like, for 10 seconds when there could have been, oh, let's go out there. Yeah. And, I mean, she wouldn't even ask him to ask her out because at that point, you both know you like each other. It's more clear than anything. Just skip the ask out question. You're already alone on a date, per se. Like, just just do the thing now. Like, why? no one would do that is kind of my point. And that's every line in this movie. No one would react the way these people do or talk the way they do. It was very dumb. That's all fine. I can forgive all that. But when you have a roller coaster and the kid is sitting in the roller coaster and I was like, I was thinking that the Mickey Mouse was going to magically have the lap bars come down, but he didn't. 
push the lap bar down on him. So I was like, good for him. But that was only the one lap bar. All the other lap bars were up. And the very next shot, all the lap bars were down. And then when he gets out of the roller coaster, his lap bar comes up so he can get out. And then the very next shot, all the lap bars are back down again. I can't forgive roller coaster continuity errors. No. <laughs> Not a second. Final Fuck this movie. I... I will, say that, I will say that it felt like a missed opportunity for a cool kill because if Mickey can teleport, wouldn't it have been kind of cool if he's on the roller coaster and it's been going and he's flipping yeah. out because he's high as fuck? And then all Wait, of a sudden. He? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made sure that everybody knew that multiple times. Uh, and then Mickey's like next to him, stabbing him, and then like it cuts to maybe a few minutes later when they discover him dead in the roller coaster or something. Oh. I know he was used later on, but they could have done one yeah. of the other random neck slits as opposed to, you know, just because I think they, the, the you know, mm -hmm. next slicing was. Yeah, they could have done. I, I will say the one that went into the top of the head, it looked like it was like two shots edited really quickly together, like mm -hmm. they just try you know, stay in that same position, but like, you know, come yeah. down with a knife and everybody have a fake knife land in the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was cool because like, it was like a blink and you miss it moment. I think I blinked right at that moment. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that was neat because it was yeah, different it looks, than just it the looks slash. Right. That's, I do wish they would have been a little more creative with the kills. It's funny. A while ago, when we were at the film festival, um, Slasher Days of Summer came out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's local indie film, whatever. And there was a review for it online. And the one thing the reviewer said is that the guy in the movie, the woodsman, that's the character, he's like most of his kills were just killing people with an axe. Mm -hmm. And there's like, well, yeah, but he's a woodsman. Like, right. He had an axe. It's literally his name. It makes total sense that you would do that. Mm -hmm. But here, it's a magical cartoon character. Like, cartoon? Should, yes. <laughs> I forgot how to speak. Um, he should be killing people in the most crazy, inventive ways. But like you said, it's just neck slashes. I was hoping they showed the Seba Willie in the title shots. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping that they would, like, you know, the, the one scene where the cow got skinny and then the yeah. Steamboat Willie fed the cow. Like, that would be cool to, like, kill someone by hanging them and, like, stuffing them yeah. on that slushy machine that they See, talked about. if the they were group. smart and referenced all the stuff from the show, like, he had the knife at one point where he's mm -hmm. skinning the potatoes, but, like, where he stretches out the cat and he's playing it to make music, mm -hmm. and in the part where he, like, basically disembowels himself while fighting with Pete. Yep. And, like, yeah, there's a lot of things they could have done and recreated those in the movie. Visually, it would have been amazing. It would have weighed, It would have made more sense... Continuity wise, like it just would have been a much more fun movie. And yeah. Tim's gonna come back like budget guys, time <laughs> constraints. It always <laughs> it always boils down to budget and time constraints. Yeah. Sometimes more than more time constraints than budget, unfortunately. Um, but I will say uh, one thing that I thought was cool was the uh, the the Steamboat Willie whistling thing. Yes. Oh, no, however, that was great. That was however, really they should have so kept that, that up. Very creepy. They should have kept that up. It was only yeah. used in that one instance. Yeah, right in the beginning, before anyone like died or we saw every movie. kill. Yeah, like just yeah. do that before everyone. Well, I mean, how many people are walking around doing the the, the Friday the Thirteenth? Um, oh yeah. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> You know, like that's the and I mean tubular the, bells is like the theme of Halloween. Like, yeah, yeah. If you have an iconic soundbite like that, you should mm -hmm. use it. Like yeah. you said, if they did it before every kill, then the audience, like you know, you they have that little tense moment. You're like, oh, something's gonna happen. But yeah, they didn't. They didn't use utilize it at all. Mm -hmm. It's just that one spot, and at that point, he wasn't killing anyone. We hadn't even seen him yet. Right. Yes. So, yeah, that was definitely a missed opportunity there. Yeah. I also, I think the, the the point that you had about the framing device of the girl in jail, like, I think that was completely pointless. If they, they could have framed that the same way and it wouldn't have changed anything if before the police got there, he, like, shows up and, like, said, brings her along with him. And, yeah. and she's a missing person and everybody else is dead. Yeah. It would have been the same. Yeah, it was... Right. Or she gets know. stolen out of the ambulance when the uh, when they take her away or something like that. Yeah, like, he could have put her in the ambulance as yeah. they're starting to talk to her, and then he teleports away with her. Right. Like, that could have just as easily have happened. The end result is the same, but we don't have the stupid framing to hop back and forth to them. Yeah, because I, I think that also kind of clouded up, like, what the... Because the, they... I think they realized that it was going to open up some plot holes, so they called them out and then yeah, covered them but, very lightly. Like... Well, if you were in laser tag, how do you know what was going on? Yeah. And she's like, but I saw it on CCTV. But it's like, 
but you go back and you show that she was just curled up in the corner from the point mm. that he disappeared. Well, it's also so, like, a, if you ever watch Sin and Sins, they say all the oh, time, yeah. like, if you call out your mistake while you're making it, that doesn't, it doesn't fix it. That doesn't count for yeah. anything. You're still doing the wrong thing. Yeah. And, yeah, this felt like that, for sure. Like, I really... Like I said, when I saw the trailer, I was excited for this. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun when they take, like, a children's thing and turn it into a horror thing. I always think there's good opportunity there. I love when they adapt non-horror things into horror. Uh, I've seen a million Alice in Wonderland horror movies. I don't know why they're all bad, but, yeah. like, it, it's always a cool idea. And if done well, it could be really fun. And this trailer looked good, so I was actually really excited for this. It did not, it did not deliver at all. I really wanted this to be better than it was. Yeah. And I know I'm shooting myself in the foot because he is a local director and I'm probably not going to work for him now because, well, fuck you. <laughs> if he's one of the four people that sees this review. Hi, viewer. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a cool premise, or it could have been, but just a lot of missed opportunity. The writing was not great. The acting, I don't know if it was the actors themselves or the director, but either way, it just... They weren't super believable. Their lines weren't delivered in the best way. Like, I definitely... This could have been better. Even without additional effects or changing too much of the story, just little things with how the actor delivered and getting rid of that dumb framing device would have improved the movie greatly. Yeah. I don't know how much... Uh, like, I have no insight to the production of it, Like, despite that I know some of the guys that worked on it, but... Um, I'm, I'm wondering how much time they had to put stuff together or if it was like kind of a last minute scramble mm -hmm. and they were like, we need to be, cause I, I know I, for they a fact wanted to be the first, first ones out of the game. Right. They wanted to be the first. They wanted yeah. to drop it the second that the, the cause someone else, is I remember there was another, I don't know if the other one ever came out, but there was another mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse horror movie that showed up shortly after, too, that right. like, they both had trailers Steam out. Steam up bully, not out. Mickey Mouse, for legal reasons. Yes. yes. Like, that title shot <laughs> said a million times. Yes. yes. Oh, that, I forgot Stream about that. Crawl. Yeah. They did the Star Wars crawl, which they then, you know, made reference of, like, oh, this is not Star Wars. But, like, they overplayed their hand with that crawl. It, we got the joke immediately. They went on far too long. They were far too gratuitous with that joke. It was not... Mm -hmm. Also, they leaned in on the meta humor. They didn't need to. It it also it it's it felt like they they were taking themselves slightly too seriously with it. Like if you have a movie that doesn't take itself seriously at all, you can have fun with it because they're having mm -hmm. fun with it. It felt like it was still trying to be like I was a know, teenage warrior skunk is a perfect example. They did not take themselves yeah. seriously, and that's a goddamn masterpiece. Yeah, and I think it, it's like from that point on, you're you're like you're led into it like. Oh, this is gonna be like spaceballs type comedy. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be funny. If it was more slapstick and it had more like big moments and I think it would have went over a lot better because it would have been super enjoyable. But like I think what they were trying to lean into was more of like that uh They wanted it more the, gritty. The, I know what you did last summer, yeah. you know, that kind of thing where there's some humor in it, but not like the right type of humor. Yeah. It's situational humor and not like planned slapstick kind of Yeah, it wasn't thing. it wasn't a horror comedy. Yeah. They just right. had some jokes. Right. And uh and, and I think as a horror comedy it would have been great. Yeah. If if yeah. they would have been able to if Again, the killer's a cartoon character. Like right. you set yourself up for all the jokes in the slapstick like, and all of that. How, how ridiculous would it have been if it would have been like a like a you know, Shaun of the Dead type humor or like, yeah. even dry humor. Because that that would play well into the hu or into the horror, uh -huh. like it meshes well. But it could be you know more fun slapstick type of humor, or type of humor like you know scary movie type stuff. Although we're gonna s just say scary movie, not two, three, four, yeah, no. twelve. <laughs> you know, I will say too they had uh, Marcus, the the not yet boyfriend, yeah. and he kept making references to horror movies and just horror as a genre, mm -hmm. and it was really dumb. Like, I didn't... Like, I don't scream, but that's the whole premise of Scream, is that the kids in the movie are horror fans, and they call out when people do things on the tropes. But that... Like, that was a meta movie from the beginning, and that was always part of their shtick. Mm -hmm. This... The movie wasn't doing that until the couple times that he brought it up. So it felt forced and out of place and really stupid for the character. Yeah. Like, I'm the biggest horror fan in the world, but if I'm actually being chased by some sort of ghost monster thing, and I saw that it was supernatural... I'm not going to be like, oh my god, guys, this is like in Friday the 13th. Like, 
<laughs> no, okay. you're in the middle of a situation. You're going to deal with that. You're going to save the sarcasm and the quips for later. Mm -hmm. The one girl that came out after she found like the blood in the, the play, play area or whatever like that, she was just way too calm. Yeah. She came out and she was like, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt this moment you're having here, but uh, I found some blood back there. Yeah, it was it was literally like you could you there was no panic <laughs> when Alex died at the end and they're all like joking to each other. Oh like, yeah. Oh man, I just asked her out, or I didn't I didn't get to ask her out, and now she's been just beheaded. Yeah, and that's not that's your reaction. You loved this girl since you were nine. You literally just saw her die. You're like, oh rats! I didn't get to screw her. Shucks, and then the black vignette comes in. Yeah, da, like, da, 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 da. <laughs> that was, I don't know, it just, I, I really couldn't get into this movie. It was not believable or immersive enough because the acting was crap, the writing was crap, the story was, the story was fine, but the framing device kept taking you out of it every time they cut away to the jail cell for no reason. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, the movie sucks, but it's still, <laughs> it's still Halloween. Can we do something? Yes. Fun? Yeah. Holy um, shit. Actually, I was going to mention that. Anyway, this is the worst guy to end Halloween. We are here, and it is Halloween. Uh, we're going to do something else. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned to the channel and look for another video that will probably be posted. Like I'm looking like I have a watch. I don't. Uh, but in like an hour, so when this hand gets here, um, yeah, come back to the YouTubes and then I'll have another thing and you guys will be in it because like I said, you're here and that wasn't entirely an accident on my part. Okay. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. Did you pick up the uh, Scooby-Doo costume from Dry Cleaning? No, they couldn't get those stains out.